Yo, Scorpio, how are you? Let's see what energies and messages we have for you today concerning love. What does the sign of Scorpio need to know, please? What messages do you have for the sign of Scorpio concerning love? Hmm. Five of Wands tried to flip. If it's meant to come out, it'll come out again. Conflict. Petty bicker bickering. Mm, opportunity. You're sitting tight though. There's a situation you're losing interest in. Intuition's kicking in. You're ready to write that new chapter in your life. I feel you're ready to move on. Mm. Just waiting for the opportunity. Page of Wands. Waiting for the opportunity. With, with this COVID thing flying about and personal circumstances, I feel it's not quite the right time for you, but it's coming in. It's coming into play. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. In the past. It's the feeling of comfortable and all being okay, but materialistically being comfortable. But there's some dissatisfaction here. Perhaps on the emotional front, you want a fresh start. Page of Pentacles. You want to sweep and let go of the past completely and start afresh. You can feel the changes within yourself and in the situation. And I feel you've got your sight set somewhere else. You're just waiting for an opportunity. It's challenging. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're starting to put up some healthy boundaries for yourself, you know, on who you want in your life and who you don't. Ooh, there's a lot of emotion there. Yeah, you're off in search of your happiness. I feel you already know the direction you want to go in. The person you're dealing with is got split loyalties there perhaps in another connection. This is perhaps what you're waiting for, for them to sort something out in their life. There's a major judgment call here. That's a very, very powerful decision on your future. Ghosts from the past, I'm picking up with this. Ooh, some truths coming out. Queen of Swords. Conversations. Make sure you're communicating very, very quick. Queerly, clearly. Mm. Mm. You're you're Changing your outlook on life. I, what I'm getting from this is you're outgrowing your present situation. You're evolving, you're changing. And I feel there's people around you that are not changing and they're not growing with you. And I could see you letting some of these people go. You intuitively know about this connection, this certain person, this feelings there, this volcano in the middle is the feelings that you can't let go of, I'm getting you kind of feel good with this person, I can see communication coming in though, clarifying it, clarifying the situation, 
giving you direction, giving you purpose, giving you that key to unlock so that you can make a move. Yeah, there's been a lot of stress in a situation in the past, especially with this relationship, this connection. Phil, along with that frustration, there's been a lot of sleepless lights and a lot of trying to forgive. But slowly but surely, you are changing your perspective on this. Yeah, you want a peaceful resolution here. You want you want peace. You want to be able to move on, do things differently. It's not surprising, and it's nothing wrong. Mm. Mm, the person you're dealing with could be from a different culture, different upbringing. They view life, this connection, in different ways to you, but there's. There's a heavy influence here from a third party. It could be a family influence, a cultural influence, a belief doctrine. And it's acceptance. How much of this are you willing to accept and how much are they willing are you willing to give? They want reciprocity with you. They want balance. But there is this very strong different beliefs, the way you see this and life. Mm. You're not so ready to disclose your emotions, though. Although this person, there's a lot of emotion there, you're feeling it, but you're not talking about it. And this person you're dealing with, they don't show emotions either. They could be dealing with some legal issues at the moment. King of Swords. They're acting a bit cold as well. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. They're very much acting cold. Again here you see temperance, judgment, Sagittarius energy, finding balance between you two, finding that equilibrium, making a major judgment on this connection. Is it worth the hassle? Because I'm getting a few restrictions here. It's kind of a conditional connection. You know, I don't mind being with you, but this, 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 and this, and this. Depends on your scenario, but... Yeah. Picking up different faiths. Deeper energy, justice, yeah, the truth, justice. I feel there is some legal issues here. There's a situation here that needs sorting out. This is a general read, could be your side, could be theirs, but there's some legal issues here that's kind of slowing progress down, if not halting it at the moment. But I am seeing conversations with authority figures, government officials, and all these sorts of people, somebody in authority seeking advice, trying to bring in balance. Things becoming much more focused. The energy in the past was very, very scattered. But I feel there's a shift in energy here between you two. And it becoming much more focused. Yeah, it's all about timing. Waiting for the right time. King of Wands energy. More Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. A lot of fire energy around 
this person. Yeah, this person's waiting for a, a waiting for some issues to be sorted, and it's 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 all about timing. And I can see a conversation between you two. Yeah, there's a, there's a test of loyalties. Yeah, definite test of loyalties. I feel here this person wants freedom to move. They don't really want to be totally committed. They only want to be sort of one foot in and one foot out. Hmm, interesting. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.